Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video is going to be about banners. Inside of Corel, and especially for the last several versions, common shapes or basic shapes, you have banner shapes in your Corel, and then you can always grab that uh, red dot. I just did a video about this the other day. And you could curve that, but you're never going to get this wavy ribbon looking banner. Pretty easy to do. Just take, I'm going to use the uh, B spline tool, which I very seldom ever use. I'm going to make it like simple, maybe a little bit more than this. So I'm just going to take the tool, uh, push the right or the left mouse button and make a turn push the mouse button and make a turn and just keep going. Try to kind of space these out a little bit so when we do what we're going to do, you'll see. And try to get this one relatively flat. And then just double click. Now you can take the shape tool, steal, and delete some nodes and make it uh, more perfect, uh, or whatever, not perfect, but get your the way you want it, and maybe bring this one up and this one down. And then here's the kind of the key. Take your extrude tool and just extrude this guy down. Now here's the real key right here, the extrude rotation. That doesn't look half bad. I'm going to leave that. Then just what we need to do now, and I, I need to figure out a way to fix this, uh, is take and go and break the screw to extrude apart and then delete lines that we should not be able to see. Like we shouldn't be able to see that. Well, we shouldn't be able to see that. We shouldn't be able to see that. Um, I messed up. Um, we can't see that. You got to kind of, I'm, I'm messing up here. Oh, we can't see that. There we go. Now, here's kind of the key. And what I would do to make life easy is take the Smart Fill tool. You're going to save you a lot of time and just fill that in. I'm going to change my nudge distance to like 10. Because we need the broken parts anyway. So fill that in and nudge it down. Fill that in and nudge it down. So we got that. And what you can do now is we can actually left click, right click. If you don't do that, you have to convert this to a curve and you know the other line is still there. And, and anyway, and then if this doesn't work, you could keep that and start over. And, and you see all the nodes from the extrude tool. So, and they're still on actually this one, but we could take these two and maybe move this one over more, grab these two and right click and add, or you can go up here and add, you know, add one in the middle. Whoop. Make sure you're clicked off the other one and make that banner. And you can kind of move it up or down. Now we need to make this straight. What I would do is just take a two point line and hold down the control button to make it perfect. And then instead of cutting that off with the virtual segment delete key, let's just fill these new ones in and bring them down and then we have just half we don't have to worry about that line now you could do one of two things you could do it now control d and make a duplicate while holding down the control button move it over and you've got your two you know you could maybe uh, put a black line around it after we take that apart and then fill that back in with the Smart Fill tool. Whoop. And then put a line around it and double. And that looks, I must have missed a piece. I must have missed that first piece up in there uh, to get this other part. But you you understand the process, I hope. Then grab them both and make it, let's make it four points give it a little bit of outline, but what I'm going to do is actually take the outline away for a second by right clicking the mouse 
Yeah, I missed that piece right there. It's going to irritate me. But if you'll take this piece and then use the interactive fill tool and go from there to there, but we want that to be blue, but we want it to be a darker kind of a gray, give a little bit of a tint. Now, the, the bad thing is you, you can't just use the ad, attribute eyedropper tool like you can on some because we're going to do just the opposite. But then nudge that up and look at that. It looks like it's kind of around the fold. And then you could actually take that one and make it a dark color. And I wish I had, I wish I had that piece. Uh, I could probably grab it. I don't know if I can put it right back exactly where it needs to be because I think I moved it. That's one thing about the nudge tool that's pretty nice. Let's see if this piece doesn't fit right there. Let's go ahead and make it that dark color. Wow, did it. And then just do the exact same thing on the other side. And it actually looks like it's folded. Now, the reason I'm taking these away is just so they won't interfere with the other ones. Now, this one is going to go darker just a little bit on this corner. And I'm by far no expert on this. Um, but I have played around with it a little bit. And if you do that on both sides, that looks like a ribbon. And then you could put your text. Now, we got a little bit of a swell here, but that could be fixed. You know, just left click, right click, and take the shape tool and delete most of those nodes. You know, and, and I would delete them equally. And then when you fill that in with the smart fill tool, the line is there, but it doesn't matter because we're just going to delete that line. You know what? My smart fill did not fill in my new line. Wow. So let's see what's going on here. Why is it not filling that in? There we go. Maybe I had to be off of it. There we go. That looks a lot better. Whoop. That's the only thing I don't like about the smart fill tool. If you don't go back and get the pick tool, you will do that. And then you could put the customer's name or the employee's name. And that looks pretty real. Now this is a little fancy. I think this is something like this is probably better, but you get the idea. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.